Hello, good evening, welcome back to the Dugout Football Channel where it is time for match week 34 predictions of the 2019-2020 Premier League season. Now obviously we do have one more game to have this game week, it is obviously Tottenham against Everton so obviously I am recording this before that game uh, but let's have a quick look on how I have done so far. Um, so for North City Brighton, I went for a 1-0 win to Brighton. It was 1-0 win to Brighton. Leicester City against Crystal Palace. I went for a 2-0 win to Crystal Palace. I finished 3-0 to Leicester City. Manchester United Bournemouth. I went for a 5-0 Manchester United win. I got the 5 right in Manchester. But uh, it was a 5-2 win to Manchester United. Wolves Arsenal. I went for a 2-0 win to Wolves. I finished 2-0 to Arsenal. Wrong way round. Chelsea Watford went for a 3 1 win to Chelsea. They finished 3 0. Uh, Burnley Sheffield United I went for a 1 0 win to Burnley. They finished 1 1. Newcastle West Ham went for a 2 1 win to Newcastle. It finished 2 2. Liverpool Aston Villa went for a 4 0 win to Liverpool. It finished 2 0. Southampton Man City I went for a 4 0 win to Man City. And it finished 1 0 to Southampton. So I have six points at this moment in time. Obviously, if everyone remembers, that I'm obviously against Mr. Um, uh, uh, John uh, from that United, uh, United Way YouTube channel. He got eight points this week. He got perfect scores um, for Burnley, Sheffield United. And, uh, yeah, he, he got eight points. He got eight points. So that was very, very good. Um, in the comments section, Roberto Hollis, you have seven points so far. And Shane O'Donnell has eight points. So congratulations to Shane and John for uh, for their uh, for their scores there. So let's have a quick look at match week thirty four. And obviously, we have some very very big games. We have a London derby between Crystal Palace and Chelsea. We have Watford against North City. Probably North City's probably the last chance saloon to maybe beat the drop, uh, but they need to win that one. Arsenal against Leicester City. That was a big big game. That one. Um, Leicester City obviously going for Europe. Arsenal. Have an outside chance if you have to say it again to the top uh, top four. Manchester City against Newcastle. Manchester City losing three consecutive games uh, away from home uh, recently as well, which is not good. Sheffield United Wolves that'll be a very good game. West Ham against Burnley. Brighton against Liverpool. Bournemouth against Tottenham. Everton against Southampton and Aston Villa against Manchester United. So the first game to preview. And predict is Crystal Palace against Chelsea. The last five between the sides have resulted in one win to Crystal Palace and four wins to Chelsea. The last result was a 1-0 win to Chelsea. Crystal Palace. It was a bit of defensive mistakes at the back that cost them against Leicester City, it has to be said. Mohamedou Sacco, again, really, really poor defending. Obviously, it gave Jamie Vardy a chance to score on a plate. Obviously, congratulations to Jamie Vardy, 100 Premier League goals. So, very, very well done to you. But Crystal Palace, it's another poor away day for them. And, um, yeah, 3-0 in the end. It wasn't a very good performance either. So, But, do you know what? Crystal Palace, they'll be pretty happy where they are at the moment. And, you know, I, I, think, I think they're not going to go down. It's uh, obviously, you know, mid-table mediocrity again for... Crystal Palace and um, you know Ron Hudson has done a very good job. Chelsea on the other hand, a very good 3-0 win against Watford. Um took a took a took them a bit of time to get going, but Willian again was absolutely magnificent again in this game. Uh, obviously Barkley getting the goal uh, as well, and obviously Giroud getting the first one as well. It's a very, very good win for Chelsea, and it's gonna obviously catapult them back into the top four. They are fourth at this moment in time. Uh, and they could they could give themselves a wee cushion between themselves and Manchester United uh, before obviously they kick off, which will be on Thursday. So yeah, we've got games on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday this weekend, uh, this week. So some good games to go. But uh, looking at this game, I can only really see a Chelsea win. I don't think it'll be as comfortable as many people will predict. But I'm gonna go for a two-one win uh, to Chelsea. I just think Chelsea will be too strong for Palace, and they would want to get a cushion. To definitely get themselves back into um, contention for the Champions League play places. Uh, and yeah, it'll be very, very interesting. But I'm going to go for a 2 1 win to Chelsea in this game. Watford against North City. Now, there's only been three meetings in the Premier League era between these two, and Watford have won two, and Norwich have won one. The last result was a 2 0 win 
to Watford. Both of these sides really, really need to start winning if they want to stay up. Um, but for me, well, I mean, put it this way, Watford did well to contain Chelsea for most of the game. Um, but yeah, in the end, 3-0 defeat. It was a very, very disappointing way to lose uh, 3-0. But do you know what? Watford will take comfort from the fact they're back at Vicarage Road. This is a must win for them. This is a must win for them because they need they definitely need to get away from that bottom um bottom pack. And uh, it would put pressure on the ones uh, under them for sure. We put pressure on Aston Villa, we definitely put pressure on Tottenham as well. So it's gonna be a very, very interesting game. Um they're coming up against Norwich City who for me, if they lose this game, they're as good as gone because Watford would be on thirty one points. And if if Watford were to win this game, they would be on thirty one points, and then that would make make what uh, Norwich ten points behind with um, three games left. So they have to win. They have to win now, um, Norwich, because otherwise they are down. So basically, Watford beat Norwich. Norwich will be relegated from the Premier League so that is going to be very very sad to see but I do think Watford will win this game Watford will get away from that bottom pile I am going to go for a 2-0 win to Watford and unfortunately that will relegate Norwich City unfortunately so Watford 2 Norwich 0 Arsenal against Leicester City the last five between the sides have resulted in two wins to Arsenal and three wins to Leicester City the last result was a 3-1 win to Arsenal. Arsenal have really turned a corner, haven't they? Um, a very, very good performance against Wolves, it has to be said. Wolves did very, very well to obviously contain them. Uh, and Emi Martinez has really, really impressed me since he's came into the Arsenal side. Obviously having to replace Burnt Leno. I tell you something, if he keeps the way he's going, Burnt Leno is going to have a bit of a problem to get back on the Arsenal side because Emi Martinez has been very, very good. Um... You know, Arsenal got their team selection right as well. Obviously, moving Kieran Tierney up further um, to midfield and obviously having Kalazanak as a sort of a centre-back. And that kind of worked for Arsenal. It was very, very good from them as well. So, they are, they are picking up good form and uh, it's very, very good to see. Obviously, Lacazette uh, scoring. Uh, so, that will that'll, that'll put his mind off of, uh, of not scoring as well. What a goal from Bukayo Saka. This guy is the real deal. I will say that now. This guy is the real deal. Looks like a very, very good player. And he is going to, he's only going to get better, I think, as well. So, it's going to be very, very interesting. Leicester City, back to winning ways. 3-0 against Crystal Palace. Jamie Vardy, a centurion now. 100 Premier League goals. Fantastic to see. Obviously, 101 because obviously he scored twice against um, Palace and it was a very very good performance much needed for Leicester City very very good from them as well and it's going to be a very very interesting game because obviously you know Arsenal Leicester City they are very very good good encounters these two so um, but just because I think it's at the Emirates I think it is at the Emirates it's going to be a very interesting game I'm going to go for an Arsenal win because I think Arsenal are picking up form just at the right time I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Arsenal. Uh, Leicester City's form at the um, Emirates plus Highbury is not great. So I'm going to go for a 2-1 win to Arsenal here. Manchester City against Newcastle United now, ladies and gents. The last time five for the sides have resulted in three wins to Manchester City, one draw and one win to Newcastle United. The last result was a 2-1 win to Manchester City. Um... Manchester City had all the possession. They had all the chances against Southampton. And what does what happens again? Ederson makes a complete and utter mistake. Gives it straight to Che Adams. Che Adams uh, spots Ederson off his line. And it's a beautiful goal for his first Premier League goal. What a way to get your first Premier League goal of the season. Um, and Manchester City, three consecutive away defeats this uh recently as well which is not very good to see either but you know they're coming back in front of the Etihad and you know what it's going to be a very very interesting game they obviously rotated their squad obviously De Bruyne was on the bench Foden was on the bench from obviously the 4-0 winning against Liverpool and um, 
You know, it's going to be a very, very interesting game. Newcastle United coming off the back of a 2-2 with uh, West Ham. Coming from behind twice as well, which was uh, interesting to see. But um, very, very good performance from uh, Newcastle. And Steve Bruce has done a fantastic job. There's no, no denying that. Obviously, Newcastle United lost 2-0 in the FA Cup quite recently to Manchester City. Um, they're going to make to the Etihad. I'm going to say that they will get a goal, but City will be too strong for Newcastle. City 3, Newcastle United 1. I'm going to go for in this game. Sheffield United against Wolves. Now, the last time I checked, there's a little bit of one meeting between the sides, and that was obviously this season. There was a 1 1 draw at Molyneux. Um, Sheffield United, another good draw against uh, Burnley. Obviously, Burnley took the lead um, through a very, very good uh, good finish from Tarkowski. Um, but John Egan kind of proved that he, he could potentially be a striker one day. Um, a very, very good finish past Nick Pope. And obviously, it was a good draw for Sheffield United. And they are picking up form again. They are picking up form. Obviously, beat Spurs. They've got a good draw away at Burnley. Not an easy place to go to Turf Moor. There's no doubt about it. So, very, very good from them as well. Wolves, um, yeah, the, 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 the good form has ended. Obviously, they were 100% record um, since returning from the, from the obviously, the pro, pro, project restart. And unfortunately, you know, they lost 2-0 to Arsenal, which was very, very disappointing in the end. But it's going to be a very interesting game, this one. I can't separate these two. Both of these going for, uh, for Europe, of course. Um, Sheffield United getting back into it ever so slightly. But I'm just going to go for a 1-1 draw on this game. I just think both sides will cancel each other out. Um, and I'd expect I'd expect to be maybe a couple of goals, but I do expect both sides to cancel each other out. 1-1 draw between Sheffield United and Wolves. So I'm going for the same result that happened earlier this season. Wolves, um, Sheffield United 1, Wolves 1. Two sides who are in pretty good form, it has to be said. West Ham against Burnley. The last five between the sides I was odd in. One win to West Ham, three wins to Burnley and one draw. The last result was a 4-2 win to West Ham. West Ham, um, that will feel like a defeat. There's no doubt about it. Um, obviously, um, getting pegged back really, really quickly uh, in the game against Newcastle. Obviously, um, Suchek obviously getting them into a 2-1 lead. And then obviously, you know, they go up the other end and Shelby scores. It was a very, very poor display defensively from West Ham. But you have to say West Ham have picked up recently, especially. Um, especially beating Chelsea. And obviously getting a draw against uh, Newcastle as well. Burnley, obviously, like I've said, uh, they're one of the form teams. They've taken 21 points out of their last 10 games. Obviously, it's 22 points from the last 11. It's pretty good form. Pretty good form uh, for, uh, for Burnley. So... Going to be a very interesting game. Obviously, Burnley, West Ham, uh, they're quite quite evenly matched, these two. Uh, but I'm going to go for a 1-1 draw. I'm going to go for another 1-1 draw in this game. I think both sides will want to be determined to get um, get get the win. I just think both sides will be determined to you know cancel each other out. I think they will. I'm going to go for another 1-1 draw between West Ham and Burnley in this game. Brighton and Fabian against Liverpool now with their last five between the sides have resulted in uh, five wins to the Reds. The last result was a 1-0 win to Liverpool. Brighton, very important win away from home again against Norwich. Um, it has to be said, they were very, very good against Norwich. Yes, I know Norwich had their chances. Matt Ryan had a very good game as well. Defensively, they were very, very good. Brighton as well. And they've really picked up form. Obviously, apart from the Manchester United defeat, obviously wins against Arsenal, wins against Norwich. It's very, very good for them. And you kind of see now that they are kind of all but safe now. Um, yeah, they're sitting 15, 36 points. You would have to say they are safe now, surely. Um, it's going to be a very interesting game because obviously with obviously Brighton playing at the Amex, Liverpool... Um, has to be said, the, the game against Aston Villa, uh, first half, not very, very good. But second half, it changed the game when Firmino came on. Gave Keita more chance to, obviously, attack um, Villa, Villa's defence. And, obviously, you know, Liverpool got the win. Thanks to goals from Manny and Curtis Jones, who's, obviously, uh, had a very good week, hasn't he? Signed a new long-term contract and scores 
the uh, second goal in the win against Aston Villa. But looking at this game, I'm going to say Liverpool will win this one. It's going to be a very, very interesting game. Um, so I am going to go for a 2-0 win to Liverpool in this game. So we'll see what happens as well. But it's going to be very, very interesting for sure. But I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Liverpool. So that takes care of Wednesday's games. We have three on Thursday. And in fact, Thursday is my birthday. My 28th birthday. Um, so obviously look, look uh, looking forward to that. But the games we have on Thursday is Bournemouth against Tottenham. And the last five between the sides have resulted in one win to Bournemouth and four wins to Spurs. The last result was that Bournemouth win 1-0 last season. Um, what you can say about Bournemouth is that they really, really played very, very well against um, Manchester United. Obviously got the goal early on. Uh, it's a very good finish from Josh King. Yes, De Gea should do better. Maguire should do better. But the fact that they got two goals at Old Trafford may spur them on to maybe try and get out of this. But really, really tricky run in. Obviously Spurs uh, this game week. And then obviously I think it's Leicester, if I remember rightly, as well. So very, very tricky run in for, uh, for Bournemouth. And it's going to be a very, very interesting game because Spurs... Well, we don't know what they're going to be like because obviously they did. They played against Sheffield United, didn't play very, very well in that game uh, either. Um, but obviously they're playing Everton uh, Monday evening. So all I'll say is that the game against Sheffield United, they were very, very poor. Uh, away, away form has been very, very poor for Spurs, it has to be said. Um, so looking at this game, I can only really see a Spurs win, to be honest. I just think it's going to be a Spurs win in this game. Going to go for a 2-0 win to Spurs in this game. I just think it's going to be a very, very hard game for Bournemouth. But I just think the Spurs going forward, Harry Kane, Son, uh, Bergvine, Lamella, they've got too much, too much firepower for Bournemouth. 2-0 win to Tottenham. Everton against Southampton now. The last five between the sides have resulted in, and it's very evenly matched, these two. Two wins to Everton, two wins to Southampton and one draw. The last result was a 2-1 win to Everton. Now, obviously, Everton are playing um, They are playing Tottenham Hotspur uh, in the next game. However, their last game, they beat, Everton, they beat Leicester City by two goals to one. It was a very, very good performance from them. Um, really, really good. Obviously, that was their last home game. Um, and yeah, they will look look ahead to the, the game against Southampton thinking that they can actually do it again. Um, but they are coming against the Southampton side who have just beaten Manchester City by a goal to nil. And what a way for Che Adams to score his first Premier League goal of the season. Um, very, very good from him. And do you know what? Southampton, for all what, what happened at um, St Mary's Stadium earlier this season... To be to obviously have a 9-0 defeat to Leicester City, to follow that up with a Manchester City victory at St Mary's was absolutely fantastic. So well done to um, to Southampton uh, there for that one. Uh, really tricky one to call because obviously both sides are evenly matched. I'm going to go for a draw. I am going to go for a draw on this one. Going to go for a 1-1 draw between Everton and Southampton. And the final game to preview is Aston Villa against Manchester United. The last five between the sides have resulted in three wins to Manchester United and two draws. The last result was a 1-0 win to Manchester United. And obviously earlier this season the two teams drew 2-2 at Old Trafford. But this is a different Manchester United that Aston Villa are coming up against. Um, what I will say about Aston Villa, if you play like you did against Liverpool... You will stay up. That was one. That was one thing you can say. Very, very organised team. Defensively, they played very, very well. Lovely to see Pepe Reina back in the Villa goal. Um, obviously playing against his former club Liverpool. And I thought he did a very good job. I thought he did a very good job. Um, and you know Villa caused Liverpool some uh, problems as well. Um, it was good, really, really good to see. But Villa are a good side. They are a very, very good side coming back. Uh, at Villa Park and um, you know it's a very very tricky game but looking at these looking at this game it might be a wee step too far for them uh, because Manchester United 
are in very, very good form, as I've said. Um, 5-2 against Bournemouth at the weekend, which is a very, very good victory. Um, Bruno Fernandes, Mason Greenwood, Anthony Martial and Marcus Rashford all on the score sheet. Mer Mason Greenwood obviously scoring two as well. Very, very good. They look really, really dangerous going forward. That is one thing I'll say about Manchester United. Midfield, they look very, very good. It's just at the back you'd be a bit concerned about. Harry Maguire got done uh, again um, defensively. I know he got nutmegged, etc. But it was very, very poor defending. De Gea should do better as well. And then Bailly comes on, as well. Bailly comes on and c concedes a penalty when... He was outside the box, but I, you know, obviously the ball does strike up here. So he was very unlucky to concede a penalty for that. But <clears throat> but looking at looking at this game, I can only really see Manchester United going on to better things. And obviously, if Leicester do lose against Arsenal, then Manchester United will close the gap to uh, to get back into the top four. So. Looking at this game, I'm going to go for a 2-0 win to Manchester United in this game. I think it'll be a wee bit too far for Villa, but it's going to be a very interesting game for sure. But I'm going to go for Aston Villa 0, Manchester United 2. So that is it. That is my Match Week 34 predictions done and dusted once again. Uh, obviously, leave your predictions in the comment section down below. And like Shane O'Donnell and obviously John from, that, from United We... YouTube channel, you will get a shout out in the next video, but I'll go through my predictions really, really quickly as well. Um, Crystal Palace 1, Chelsea 2, Watford 2, Norwich 0. If that result does stand, Norwich City are relegated from the Premier League. Arsenal 2, Leicester City 1, Manchester City 3, Newcastle United 1, Sheffield United 1, Wolves 1, West Ham 1, Burnley 1, Brighton 0, Liverpool 2, Bournemouth 0, Spurs 2, Everton 1, Southampton 1, and Aston Villa 0, Manchester United 2. So that is it. That is my Match Week 34 predictions done and dusted again. As I've said, please get your predictions in the comment section down below. And, uh, yeah, join in the fun. Join in the fun. So, um, yeah, obviously we have games on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And then, obviously, we've got more games on the Saturday. So games coming thick and fast, ladies and gentlemen. Games coming thick and fast. It's going to be a very, very interesting end to the season. There's no doubt about it. Looking forward to it for, for sure. So, going to be very, very good uh, as well. But uh, anyway, uh, that is all for me today. So, thank you very much for watching. Obviously, if you are new around here, then please hit that subscribe button. Getting very, very near 350 subscribers. Um, obviously, next target would be obviously 400 uh, but if I, get, if I can hit 350 before the end of the month, that would be absolutely fantastic. Smash a like on the video as well. And if you have enjoyed it, please leave a comment as well. Just let me know the, let me know your predictions as well. And let me know if you do like these videos. And I will continue doing these next season as well. But, um, but anyway, thank you very much for watching. And I'll speak to you all in the next one. Enjoy your Premier League midweek. Uh, and we shall see what happens for sure but um thank you very much for watching and i'll speak to you all in the next one uh and yeah we shall see what happens for sure but uh, i'll speak to you all in the next one cheers bye bye for now